Seven days ago, I wanted to see just how fast I could improve my wedge game in one week. I just want to challenge myself. Uh, it's gonna be a long week. When you see the best players on the planet, you see their wedge game is ridiculous. They hit it inside 10 feet just about every time. Me, as an amateur golfer, I wanted to test my limits to see just how fast I can improve in one week. Now here are the rules. Step one, there's test day. I decided I was going to hit six different shots ranging from 110 yards all the way to 30 yards. I would then repeat this process for the next four holes, totaling 24 shots. At the end of each shot, I would measure the proximity to the hole and then I would divide all the way throughout 24 shots, giving us the average distance to the pin after 24 shots. I would then repeat this process on day seven for a test day number two, and we will see just how much I will improve in one week and potentially your wedge game. If you guys are new here, welcome. I'm Luke Peavy. Let's get after it. Day one, really excited. I may not be saying that for the rest of the week. You know, the first day is always the easiest and the last day. I'm gonna test it out for you guys. I just wanna challenge myself always. Let's go. <laughs> A lot of improvement to be made, boys. Let me get my stat sheet. Day one stats. On the first hole, we averaged 12.83. Given, I did have a zero, so that really helped out a lot. The second hole, we averaged 16.83. Third hole, we averaged 14.08. In the fourth hole, my worst of all, 23.5 feet. So that came out to an average of 16.83. One feet. Now, tour average actually is 11.4 to 19.1. That's average. That's not elite, but we don't want to be average. We want to be better than average. That's day one stats. And the plan for the week, practice wise, is 30 to 40 minutes per day on the range, getting the distance down on each wedge. I then would go on course and hit multiple shots, seeing the spin slash release, get a better feel for each shot from 110 yards to 30 yards. Really want to get two hours per day strictly on wedges so i did that for the rest of the week so here's day two day two excited fit fresh uh it's gonna be a long week gotta get better though gotta get better
four. Because today I have a little bit more time. Let's get to practicing. Bad it wasn't on video though, except for my reaction. We're getting grooved. Not sponsored by AirPods. Sponsored by Sam Egger. Day six. First day, I really don't want to be out here. Freaking freezing. The only thing keeping me alive are these bad boys. Thank God for my sandbagger beanie though. It was a must. Get on the range for about an hour and then go to the course, hit different shots for about an hour. Tomorrow's the day, tomorrow's the final day. My wet just do feel good right now, so. Day six in the books, excited for tomorrow, final day. I'm ready for it. I put in 12 hours so far. It feels good, it finally started warming up. I don't know if it was the hot hands or what, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, day seven. Day seven, and it's probably the coldest day of them all. Just get warmed up, kind of 30 minutes, and then I will do the test today. So let's get into it. Let's go. of the challenge. Test number two is over. Let's get into the numbers. First hole, 11.91 feet. The second hole, we averaged 16.91. The third hole, we averaged 11.75. And then lastly, we averaged 11.25. 
five. You can already probably tell that yes, indeed, little baby, we did improve. We went from 16.81 feet to day seven, 12.95 five average absolutely huge i couldn't imagine if i actually did this for the whole month i encourage you guys to actually do this because four feet is a lot of distance in golf whether you're just a weekend warrior a junior golfer or a competitive player anybody can use this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like road to 5k come on let's go let's go